fuck you with a condom, that does not count as a, a body. It does not. So you can fuck a hundred niggas. And it's not going to count. Fuck nobody. Like, exactly. It's not going to count. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's not going to count. That's different. Wait, so that means your boyfriend can do that. If you got a boyfriend, like, yeah, you know, I'm about to go fuck with Brian right quick, but I'm going to wear a condom, so it don't count. You see, nah, niggas, niggas don't know how to do that. So what really made you do it? Just be honest with me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear the excuses because it's already said and done. I'm, I'm gonna take my stuff and just go about my business. I just want to know why. What made why you really? You we. Though? What do you mean? What I'm leaving for? I didn't. I told you I didn't mean like it. It wasn't supposed to go like that. What? What you mean it wasn't supposed to go like that? You opened your legs for another man. We've been we've been in a relationship for like uh, how much years? Four or five years? No, I told you I was ovulating and I was getting close to my period and you like are never around. You're always working. You were ovulating, so you were getting close to your period, so you go fuck another man. Are you crazy? That's even worse. No, baby, you don't understand a woman's body. Like I have needs. Okay, you have needs, so your ovulation makes you want to go cheat on me. How much times have you ovulated and cheated on me? Let me know. Only Cause once. only once. Yeah. Well, how how can I believe that? I'm telling you. Armani, you when told you me a lot. When you caught it in my phone, I didn't lie. Okay, if I didn't catch it, would you have told me? Yes. Stop lying to me. I'm not. Hey, excuses is poor. That's exactly why I'm leaving. No, you're not. You being on your period or ovulating don't mean go cheat. So that means when you're on your period and I can't do nothing with you, that means I can go cheat too, right? No. Right? No. So what made you go do that? accident. If you love me like you say you do, do, you would never go do something like that. That's insane. Do you want to watch a documentary on a woman's body? It's serious. I don't want to see nothing. What's what serious? What? Explain. Like when a woman what? is ovulating. When a woman is ovulating what? That makes you go fuck yeah. another man? When you have a man at home? When a woman is ovulating, what does that mean? Like, that doesn't mean what you're trying to say it means. No, it does. It means, like, your hormones are, like, like ten times stronger. They're ten times stronger. Mm -hmm. So I'm working my ass off at work while you're ovulating. And since I'm not there, you can't you can't wait until you I get back home to have sex like, with me. You have over 12 hours. Yes, 12 hour shifts so we can eat and live in this beautiful house we live in. What is wrong? Like, it really hurts me deep inside that you even think that was okay to do because you was ovulating, bro. I'm sorry. Sorry not gonna help. You already opened your legs and he was inside of you. And I'm pretty he sure y'all was wasn't using... That was not using protection. I'm pretty... I know you don't even like condoms. You don't like latex. But I didn't know him that well, so I did. That makes it even worse. Like, what in the world? And then you texted him how much... How good it was and you, you enjoyed... You wanted to do I that. Was, I was... So, <laughs> you was lying to him, but you lying to me too. I didn't lie. I'm lying. You still sitting there lying to my face? You said you didn't do anything, and I went up in the messages, and I seen the messages of y'all talking about what y'all did. Now you have nothing to say. Now take that excuse and shove it up your ass, because I'm gone. I don't want nothing to do with this relationship no more. Please. I'm good. I'm good. Oh. No. Get off of me. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Badash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth. And Shalom to you, few sincere sisters out there as well. It's your brother Ariel coming at you with another lesson here. And this is Numbers 5. And as you see here, this is the adultery test. Okay, and this is something that was done back in the ancient times to see if a woman indeed is laying up with another man. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, If any man's wife go aside and commit a trespass against him, and a man lie with her carnally, and it be hid from the eyes of her husband, and be kept closed, and she be defiled, and there be no witness against her, neither she be taken with the manner and the spirit of jealousy come upon him and he be jealous of his wife and she be defiled or if the spirit of jealousy come upon him and he be jealous of his wife and she be not defiled then shall the man bring his wife unto the priest and shall bring 
her offering for her, the tenth part of an ephah and a barley mill, he shall pour no oil on it or upon it, nor put frankincense thereon, for it is an offering of jealousy. Okay, if a man had a suspicion, you know, that his wife was doing something behind his back, okay, this is what would happen. And it says, bringing iniquity to remembrance, and the priest shall bring her near and set her before the Lord, Yahweh, and the priest shall take holy water in an uh, earthen vessel, and of the dust that is in the floor of the tabernacle, the priest shall take and put it into the water. And the priest shall set the woman before the Lord and uncover the woman's head and put the offering of memorial in her hands, which is the jealousy offering. And the priest shall have in his hand the bitter water that causeth the curse. And the priest shall charge her by an oath and shall say unto the woman, If no man have lain with thee, and if thou hast not gone aside to uncleanliness with another instead of thy husband, be thou free from this bitter water that causeth the curse. But if thou hast gone aside to another instead of thy husband, and if thou be defiled and some man have lain with thee besides thine husband, then the priest shall charge the woman with an oath of cursing, and the priest shall say unto the woman, The Lord make thee a curse and an oath among thy people, when the Lord doth make thy thigh rot and thy belly to swell, okay? And that's pretty much my, my point. You know, if a woman was caught out there during these times, this is what would happen, okay? The belly would swell up and the thigh would rot, okay? And we you see a lot of women out here with that rotted thigh, okay? And that that swelled up belly, okay? And this is how we know that, you know, pretty much a woman is an adulterous woman, okay? It's a woman that likes to sleep a lot, okay? And, um, you know, the woman in the video, you know, she was pretty thin, okay? So it's not for every woman. Not every woman will, you know, have this happen to her if she is uh, indeed um, going behind her man's back and sleeping with another man. Okay, but this is something that we see a lot and a lot of uh, a lot of women out here, man. Okay, that rotted thigh and that bloated up stomach, man. Okay, now that second video that I played, you know, it could be a real video or maybe not. You know, we don't know, but these things occur often where a woman uh, is saying, you know, you're you're working too much, you're not giving me any attention. And then the first man that gives her any attention, she sleeps with him, you know? Hardly even know the dude, you know, don't know his walk of life, don't know what type of dude he is, you know? Don't really give the man or, or give herself a chance to get to know the dude. She just, you know, a lot of women would just go ahead and sleep with, with a man that has, that has given her attention and that is um, consistent with that attention, especially if a man... Is not giving her the attention that she seeks at home, man. And that's the inner thinking of a lot of women out here, man. Okay, a lot of these women are on demon time. And you saw in the first the first video, the woman said, if, you know, if she's sleeping with a man and he has a condom on, it don't count. If she's sleeping with various men and they have condoms on while they're, you know, having uh, intercourse with her, it don't count. What kind of thinking is that, man? You know, this is the type of time that a lot of these women are on right now, man. Okay? These, these are the times that we're in. Where, you know, wickedness is running rampant, man. Let's get, um, let's get Jeremiah 3 and 1. Okay, and it says the polluted land. Now, of course, this is a parable and it's speaking about us, okay, and, and how we uh, pretty much cause adultery against the Lord. You know, this is it's a parable, but it plays into what I'm going into. It says, they say if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted, okay? 
And the answer is yes, that land is, is definitely polluted. That woman is polluted, okay? If she goes from her, goes astray from her, from her husband and goes out and sleeps with another man, okay? That man is not supposed to take her back, all right? And that's what happened in that video. Like I said, I don't know if it's true or not, if it's real or not, okay? But at the end of the day, he made the right decision to leave that woman alone because she was saying, oh, it was only one time and, you know, well, during the ovulating process, you know, it's hard for us to control ourselves, which is, you know, another thing that's going on out here a lot is people are very incontinent, man. They cannot um, control themselves, man. All right. And a lot of these women out here are living in uh, pleasure. You know, scriptures say she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And that's why a lot of these women out here are living and men as well. OK, but this one is for the women. A lot of these women out here living in pleasure, and you're seeing how they dress out here now half naked, man. Half naked. All of them dress like strippers, man. Okay, with the boobies out, you know, wearing the fishnet dress with the with the thong on, just showing everything, man. You know, we living in a real vile and wicked society where these things are accepted, man. All right, let's get Sirach. Can't get it here. We'll go here and get it real quick. Let's get the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus 23. And I'll read 22. I'll start at 22 here. All right. And it pretty much plays into what I'm going into as well. I'll read a couple of verses. It says, Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband. And bringeth in an heir by another. Okay, and that's that's something else that's going on out here a lot. As far as women uh, going behind, you know, they man back sleeping with another man and getting pregnant by him, man. You know, a lot of that stuff is going on as well, man. That's complete confusion and complete wickedness, man. Okay. This man shall be punt. Hold on. And it says, for first... She have disobeyed the law of the Most High. And secondly, she have trespassed against her own husband. And thirdly, she have played the whore in adultery and brought children by another man. And she shall be brought out into the congregation and inquisition shall be made of her children. And her children shall not take root and her branches shall bring forth no fruit. She shall leave her memory to be cursed and her reproach shall not be blotted out. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. Okay? And it says, It is great glory to follow the Lord and to be received of him is long life. Okay? And this is why we believe and we know uh, that a lot of women are going to be judged in these last days and times because they don't follow the commandments of the Lord, but they follow the, they follow the ways of Babylon the Great. They've been drunken, okay, by these um uh by the ways of Babylon, man. Where it's okay for a woman to go out and you know sleep around on her husband. That's something that's become normalized right now, man. Okay, this is something that is celebrated out here in this wicked ass um society, man. But in the olden times. You know, the woman will be put to death, all right? And the man that lied with her will be put to death as well, man, okay? That's something that would strike fear in the people, okay? So that they would think twice before they would even do something like that, man. But now out here, this shit is running rampant. It's a yet another reason why this place needs to be destroyed, man, okay? Let's get, um, let me go back here real quick. And we'll get um, Leviticus 20, just to back up what I just said. You know, that woman would be murdered. Not murdered. She'd be killed. Salakia. She'd be killed, man. Leviticus 20 and 10, I believe. Right? And it says here, the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer, and the adulteress shall surely be put to death, okay? And this is something that is going to be brought back in the kingdom, not for us, 
okay? But the heathen are going to have to follow after this right here, man. Okay, this is this is one of the one of the laws that's gonna be set in the earth, man. Okay. And is you know, it's not gonna be anymore, you know, it's okay if you sleep with another man's wife, okay, or for, for a woman if you have a husband, it's okay if you go out there and sleep with as many men as you want. All of that is gonna be laid to rest and put to bed, man. It's not gonna be any more of that, man. When this when this um earth is ruled in righteousness. This is definitely going to be an effect here, man, for you heathen, okay? But we're going to be made perfect. The law is going to be within us. So we're not going to be doing any of this, okay? But we are definitely going to be judging the earth, man. And all this nonsense that we see day in and day out is going to be no more, man. Let's get Matthew uh, 5 and uh, 32 because I had a dude come on my... um. On my comment board, I ain't gonna go to it, but I'll just quick synopsis here. He said, um, you know, he was celebrating, uh, uh, you know, he was honoring the uh, the Passover, okay, and um, he, you know, he had his kids doing it with him, and he said his wife wouldn't do it with him, and he said, yo, that 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 greatly pissed him off because she wasn't doing the Passover with him, you know. And he said he left her because of that, amongst other things. But he said that was pretty much the nail in the coffin. And I'm telling him, like, yo, you're going off. You can't you can't force someone, you know, to be a part of this truth, okay? And I sent him this, and it says, but I say unto you that, uh, this is Matthew 5 and 32, but I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, cause of her to commit adultery and whosoever shall marry her that is divorced come, uh, committed adultery and I was trying to let him know okay that you put her away uh, for that you only the only reason you can put your wife away is if she commits adultery on you man okay you can't just be out here saying oh she's not doing this and she's not doing that or she's not going you know doing what I'm telling her to do I'm going to put her away nah because you you you're causing your wife to go out there and commit adultery, man, against you, okay? And I don't know if he received the message. If he didn't, that's on him. If he did, you know, call her lawyer out by Shimmy I was shy, okay? But you can't be leaving your, your your wife, you know, for, for for you know, petty matters, if you will, man, all right? And I know I'm not on subject, but if he's watching this video, you know, you make it right, man, before you get left. Um... Let's go ahead real quick, man. Because at the end of the day, it's still, a, you know, still the curses, man. This is why these things continue to happen, all right? Even to some brothers in the truth. Shit, it could be happening to me, and I just don't know it, you know? Because it's a part of the curses that a woman that you have will, um, you know, sleep around on you, man. What is that, 30? Okay, and it says, thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. That's plain and simple. Okay? In the NLT, you will be engaged to a woman, or you will have a wife, but another man will sleep with her. Okay? And that's just part of the curses, man. All right, these women out here running rampant. And it's, some, it's sad because it's something that makes them feel empowered to be out here sleeping around. Okay, hop, you know, hopping from rod to rod, man, monkey branching. Okay, and there's nothing, uh, nothing good about that, man. Let's get, um, let's get Sirach 26 and 12 because it definitely describes the type of time that these women are on. Okay, uh, Ecclesiastic is 26 and 12. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Okay? Now, what is that saying? All right? We'll break it down in layman's terms. Okay? Every rod, you know, that she come across, she's going to put in her mouth, man. Okay? And every rod that comes, you know, upon her, she's going to open her legs, man, at the end of the day. And that's the type of time that these women are on out here, man. Okay? Jumping from rod to rod like it ain't nothing. No respect for themselves, no respect for anybody else. And that's 
completely disgusting at the end of the day. Okay, and women that are living their lives that way, a man of the Lord is not going to choose you, man. You're going to be rejected in that day. Okay, you're going to be all used up and no man is going to want you, man. No man wants that. No man wants a woman that's been with everybody else, man. Okay, no man wants that, man. There's nothing attractive about that at all, man. No matter how empowering you think that shit is, that's disgusting, man. But, you know, that's the that's the vibe out here, man. That's the thing that is accepted and celebrated out here in Babylon the Great, you know? Let's get 1 Timothy. I'll read 1 through uh, 4, and I'll, I'll just leave it here. It says this, no, also, because I made mention of this earlier, and it says this, know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of them of their own selves. And that's what we see on the internet day in and day out. Okay, it always starts with the men first. But this is for the women. You see women always up in the camera, you know, pretty much adoring the, their own selves, man. Praising their own selves. And you see that, and you see dudes doing that feminine shit too. Taking selfies all in the camera all the time, you know. This is why we know we are at the end, man, okay? It says the last days, okay? And this is what we're seeing. This is what we're witnessing right now. For men and women shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy. And this is definitely the generation that we're living in right now, man. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, right? Okay, and it says, uh, it's talking about urine. Come on, man. All right. Well, it says here, having no or insufficient voluntary control over urination or uh, defecation, okay? <laughs> but it's really going over not having any control over your spirit or not having control over yourself, man. Basically, no self-control at the end of the day, okay? And that's what we see out here, man. You know, a lot of these women out here just have no self-control, all right? There's definitely no wisdom within them. I'm talking about two-third women, okay? There's no no wisdom, okay? There's no nothing. It's just all wickedness, man, all right? You can see it all in their in they eyes, their faces, the way they dress, the way they walk, the way they carry themselves, the way they talk, the way they treat other people, you know? You can see it, man. They're just walking, talking demons, man, all right? And it says, despises of those that are good. Wow, you know, women for the most part, do not like, quote unquote, good guys. That's not what they chase after. They chase after the men that they uh, proclaim to be dangerous. Okay, those are the men that they like, the men out there selling drugs, the men out there scamming, the men out there that carry a gun. You know, they like murderers, okay? And look how many women chase after serial killers uh, once they're captured, you know? It's, a, it's astounding. You know, how women uh, flock to, to men like that, man, okay? Which proves that women love wickedness, okay? Which proves that women are wicked, okay? And wicked is going to be drawn to wicked at the end of the day, man, okay? And it says, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of the Heavenly Father, man. And that's pretty much wraps it up in, in a nutshell, man. These women, okay, these, e these wicked, evil women out here, do not love the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, they love Satan. They love the ways of Esau, Edom. And they love uh, the comfort, okay, of Babylon the Great, man. And this is why, you know, a lot of women are going to be judged out here, okay, when this society falls, man. All right? Because of their wicked ways, man. The wicked things they do, the wicked things they talk about, and the wicked ways that, and the wicked things that they think, Okay? The scriptures say that, you know, a woman's, minds is, a woman's mind is snares and nets, 
Okay? So, yeah, I just wanted to bring this out real quick. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to say shalom to the next one.